The sound of gunfire from police was in the air in Baghdad again on Thursday. They were attempting to disperse anti-government protesters who defied a pre-dawn curfew. It was the third day of demonstrations back in. Eleven people were killed overnight, bringing this week's death toll to 18. More than 200 have been injured. The clashes have escalated into one of the worst security challenges since the defeat of Islamic State two years ago. Troops patrolled main roads and public spaces at dawn in the capital, but it didn't take long for sporadic protests to erupt. Despite the curfew, we're going out to protest, to call for our rights. We want to change the regime. They've arrested our people. They've done things to our people. They did not even do to Daesh. They beat them up and humiliated them while firing live gunfire. What did we do? Are we suicide bombers? We're here to call for our rights and all those people. The demonstrations began in Baghdad on Tuesday and quickly spread to other cities. The anger is directed at a government and political class, which protesters say is corrupt and doing nothing to improve their lives. Iraq is the world's fourth largest reserves of oil, according to the International Monetary Fund. The country's youth especially want the jobs and public services to show for it. The people are being robbed. The people are now begging on the street. There's no work. You come to protest. They fire at you. Live gunfire. They're all Iranians speaking in Farsi. You want to speak to them? They answer in Farsi. The Iraqis would not fire at you. Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi chaired an emergency national security meeting on Wednesday in which he ordered Thursday's curfew in Baghdad. On Tuesday, he promised more jobs for graduates, telling the oil ministry and government bodies to include a 50% quota for local workers in subsequent contracts with foreign companies. Two days on, there's little evidence that people here are convinced that change is on the way.